Donut Maker, Your Brown Eyes Blue. And back in the day, I'm not making this up, back in the day, I sang that song to a girl. I did. I did. I told a girl, uh, do you want me to sing that song to you? And she goes, you mean that one by Crystal Gale, Donut Maker, My Brown Eyes Blue? And I go, yeah, yeah, I want to sing that song to you, but right now I really got to go poo-poo. Not your brown eyes blue. Boop, boop. No, no. That's not funny, Robert. That's not funny whatsoever, Robert. Okay, I apologize for that. It'll never, ever happen again. I'll never say that joke again. Anyways, good morning, 921 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio, Robert Rebus Radio. Tuesday morning. After Memorial Day, everybody's all beat up and tired and, you know, oh, man. Now, there's a positive to all this. There's a positive. The positive is it's a four-day week. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You're back to weekend again. It's a positive. But until then, man, I'm serious, man. These three-day weekends, man. A, I woke up all beat up and tired and like I know so and, you know, scratching my butt and everything. I was like, man, Tuesday morning, I don't want to do this. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um. Um, you're probably going, what, what's the matter, Robert? What's the matter? Um, nothing's the matter. I'm just, you know. Uh, good morning. Shout out going up to my partner, Jim Tom. By the way, uh, Jim Tom, Jim Tom, I know you're listening. Jim Tom, uh, Dr. Pepino has a few choice words for you at 930 this morning, Jim Tom. Dr. Pepino is very upset with you. Um, I'm not going to give you all the lowdown, but all I'm going to say is this. This past weekend at Cachata Casino, I could have been a millionaire. But my partner, Jim Tom, he cost me. He cost me a million dollars. But I'm okay with that. I forgive Jim Tom. I forgive him. But my sidekick, Dr. Pepino, doesn't forgive him. He doesn't forgive. He's not going to forgive. So he's going to voice his opinion on Jim Tom. And Jim Tom costed me one million dollars at Cachata Casino this past weekend. To me, money isn't everything. I'm okay with that. So what? What's a million dollars? A million here, a million there, here a mill, there a mill, everywhere a mill, mill. Eh. But my partner, Jim Tom, I mean, well, my, he is my partner, Jim Tom, but my sidekick, Dr. Pepino, he doesn't forgive you, Jim Tom. You cost me a million dollars, Jim Tom. You cost me a million dollars, but I'm okay with that, Jim Tom. I forgive you. But my sidekick, Dr. Pepino, he doesn't forgive you, and he's going to talk to you directly at 9.30, and um, all I'm going to say is this. I already called up my lawyers, and I told them my sidekick may go far and overboard, so, you know, let's keep it up on the up and up, and let's make sure he doesn't go overboard on the legality issue. Good morning, shout out going up to my primo, Roger Rivas. Good morning, primo. Anyways, um, 9.23 in the morning, and it's time for celebrity birthdays. Let's knock it out. Let's do celebrity birthdays. Let's see what celebrities are celebrating the birthday today. May the 30th, 2017. Here we go. Celebrity birthdays. Uh, let me see here. Okay, here we go. Let's see who I recognize. Uh, let, me see, let me make sure I'm going to be okay here. Let me see here. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> You're probably going, what, what's the matter with you, Robert? Why are you doing the countdown? You know, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Back in the day, good morning, shout out going up to Mary Herder. Good morning, Mary. Back in the day, when I was going to make love to a girl, um, she goes, can you give me a countdown? And I go, hey. She goes, I'm from Houston. And everybody from Houston, we like a countdown before we, you know, we get it on. And I go, so what do you want? She goes, a countdown, like blast off. And I go, oh, I get it. All right, I'll give you a countdown. So she goes, because I don't want you to just jump into it, Robert. She goes, give me a countdown. So I said, okay, 10, 9, Eight, and when, by the time I got to one, I promise you, we had liftoff. <laughs> oh, that's the stupidest thing I've ever said. You might have gone, Robert, you're so weird. You're having liftoff, please. Oh, I don't think so. Anyways, <laughs> we have liftoff. And for the guys that, uh, you know, are having problems getting liftoff, you're probably going, Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> Anyway, that's so stupid. <laughs> we have liftoff. Anyways, let me get to, uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? If, you know, if a guy, you know, a guy's getting ready to make you love to you, ladies, and he goes, I'm going to give you a countdown. Okay. Ten, nine, 
<laughs> you going, come on, come on, seven, seven, come on, six, five, come on, hurry up, buddy, come on, get us up, come on, six, five, five, come on, let's have left off, we need left off. <laughs> anyway, wouldn't that be even crazier if they stop and say, uh, we're stopping the countdown at two. We are having problems with liftoff. We'll be right back. We gotta go to the restroom and take a pill. We have problems with liftoff. The countdown has been delayed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are you having that Houston coffee? You know what? I love Houston Blaine coffee. Let's get to celebrity birthdays. Let's see what celebrities are celebrating the birthday today. Uh, May the 30th, 2017, for all the people that are having liftoff. Let's see here. Boom, boom, ba dee boo dee boo me see here. I don't know any of these people. I don't know who that is. Mel Blanc, the voice of Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and all that, would have been celebrating his birthday today. There we go. And uh, let me see here. Harrison Barnes, basketball player, 25 years old. There we go. And uh, uh, Jake Roberts, Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, WWE wrestler, 62 years old. And... Um, Wyona Jett, Wyona Jett, 53 years old, there we go, Clint Walker, 90 years old, there we go, and celebrity birthdays now, that being said, check this out, this has got to be one of the craziest stories ever, I'm not making this up either, man, it's right here on the internet, check this out, no countdown, need to work at, uh, there we go, I like that, Mary, Mary, Mary Herder says, no countdown neither, Robert, we just need to work up to it, uh, yeah, that, that's true, you know, uh, sometimes when I can't get in the mood, what I do, um, I watch some midget porn. And I mean, those midgets, man, those, those, <laughs> those midgets, they take care of business. I'm not going to go there right now because this is a family show. Now, uh, let me get to this crazy story. This story starts off one year ago. And I'm not making this up. One year ago, according to this, one year ago, a couple came home to find their apartment ransacked. And what makes matters worse, they found their pet chihuahua spray-painted purple. How crazy is this? How crazy is this that some burglars broke into a house, they ransacked the house, and they spray-painted the couple's chihuahua purple. When they walked in the door, the woman said, I chihuahua! And, and she saw the, the, the chihuahua purple. Well... It gets worse. It gets worse. Three months ago, their purple pet chihuahua, which is not purple, they couldn't get the spray paint off. The chihuahua's purple. Uh, well, anyways, three months ago, their pet chihuahua, female pet chihuahua, male pet chihuahua, had puppies. Had puppies. And all the puppies came out purple. Well, now... They're looking, they were trying to find a reason why the pet, the, the, the chihuahuas, the, the baby chihuahuas, the puppies came out purple. And after two days of being at the doctor, the doctor told the couple, I know why the puppies came out purple. And the couple said, why doctor, why doctor, why did the puppies come out purple doctor? And the doctor said, because your dog has great nuts. No, uh, nah, that's not funny. That's not funny whatsoever, Robert. Great nuts. That's not funny, Robert. Uh, okay, I, okay, uh, I thought it was kind of funny. I thought it was better than liftoff. Right in a fancy wow, Great nuts. Purple kitten. No, that's not funny. That's not funny whatsoever, Robert. Anyways, I tell you what. My sidekick, Dr. Pepino, is getting ready to come up, and he's calling out my partner, Jim Tom, because Jim Tom cost me a million dollars. He really did. But until then, let's keep it going. Let's do something by the Royal Jesters. Yo soy Chicano. There we go. Good morning, Double R Radio.